Hey beauties, it's me Claire Moy and I am back with a review video and I know this review video has been done like 50 million times even though the collection just came out like two minutes ago, okay? Um, this is a Fenty Rihanna collection review guys because I actually went out and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. No, I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff. I bought five items that I felt that I didn't have in my makeup collection and that I could go and splurge on because believe it or not, I don't splurge on makeup, okay? So this is this is huge for me that I went out and I bought some things. I'm not gonna keep talking, let's just get right into it. So I can show you guys um, the products that I got, how they look on me, because we're gonna do a whole tutorial, and then I'm gonna wear my makeup all day long. What time is it right now? It is 1 15 right now, so I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna wear my makeup all day long. I really have nowhere to go, but I'm gonna find somewhere to go, okay? So let's get started. All right, so I went out with my own coins, okay? And I bought the sponge, the Fancy Rihanna sponge. Why I got that, I don't know. I just figured I wanted to use what she came out with. I'm gonna do half sponge, half my regular brush and see which side I like better. I got the foundation, guys. Okay, and I got the foundation because it said, oh wait, no, this is a primer. I got the primer. <laughs> I cannot wait to use it. I really love the packaging, but I ain't gonna front. When I first saw the packaging, I was like, that really reminds me of KKW. Okay, everything about the packaging in the beginning reminded me of KKW, especially the color. The color scheme, the way it's like um, designed really reminded me of, of KKW. So at first I was kind of like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but it's Rihanna, okay? And I love me some Rihanna. Hey, Riri girl. And then um, I got the foundation. I got shade 400. I really hope this matches because the girls at Sephora just seem to be busy. I don't know. And then I got, of course I got Trophy Wife, the highlighter Trophy Wife because I don't know, it's a must. One of my friends said that she does not like Trophy Wife at all. It's very kiddish and looks like loose glitter. <laughs> so I got Trophy Wife. And I also got a highlighter called Latte. So I got five products all together. I think Latte is a little bit too light. I mean, a little bit too close to my skin tone. However, I don't like a super, super bright highlighter. So. All right, so let's take some of this primer. Um, another reason why I was kind of excited about this line is because it came with a lot of selections for African American women. I know there's a lot of controversy saying no it didn't, but I think it did. And then I also like it because it is a matte foundation and it is medium coverage. And you guys know I don't wear a lot of coverage. So I really, really like that. And don't mind my nails. I am growing out my natural nails. I've been taking like really good care of my natural. Okay, this primer feels really good. It smells really good too. Okay. Oh, hi, Riri. And they said that you can wear this found this primer on its own. It's supposed to like smooth out your skin and give it like blurred lines, so it looks really, really smooth. And if that's the case, I would definitely wear this like on its own. I hope my lace frontal looks alright, y'all, because y'all girl be struggling with these frontals. Eh, it's cool. All right, so this is the sponge now. I'll be right back because I'm gonna go and wet the sponge and I'll be right back. All right, so the sponge did expand when you wet it. The primer feels really, really good. So we're gonna do one side with the sponge and we're gonna do the other side with my Kevin Aquan angled foundation brush and this is actually my favorite brush even though it's really, really difficult to wash. So I saw a lot of people putting dots. Oh Lord, I hope this is my shade. I don't know if this is my shade. <laughs> Shade. It's not my shade. I will be returning it. Obviously. Oh hell to the no! <laughs> I don't know. This look orange. I 
pick shape 400 guys Back up. I don't know. We're gonna keep going. All right. Let's do the other side. This is extremely liquidy, guys. So that also lets you know how sheer it is. Um, which again, to me, it's not a bad thing. I'm so upset with the shade I chose, though. It is so orange on me. But we still gotta highlight and contour and do all that stuff. So we'll see how it looks. To me, like the most important thing out of this line was. The foundation. Yeah, and I already like applying it with my brush. My brush seems to be giving me more coverage. Let me come. My brush is giving it more coverage. I don't know why I've seen some videos where the sponge was giving them a lot more coverage. But this brush by Kevin Aquan, guys, it is like literally life. And then this is the concealer that I got. It is called a Match Stick, a Match Skin Stick Found the Tint Matte. And this is shade um, Latte. Okay. Not this. Ooh. Okay, I really, really, really like the shade of the highlight. Oh my God. I really love, love the shade on the highlight. A lot. I feel like it's not too bright. I like how I'm applying it. Okay. I really, really like the shade of the highlight. It's really easy to apply. Okay, latte your sting so I lowered the lights on my on my ring light to see if that help with the shade but not really I really really love the highlight shade guys shade is also very easy to blend out which I appreciate okay beautiful people I am back and I applied my contour I did my eyes I didn't finish my eyes because I'm gonna use the Fenty <laughs> trophy wipe highlighter to um, use that the highlighter on my lid. Right, I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Laura Mercier um, highlight brush, fan brush. Okay, this is my first time. I haven't swatched it, so <laughs> let's begin. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's begin. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, all right, because I've just seen so many different reviews. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. It's beautiful. It's, it's. <laughs> what's wrong with me? I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. It's a hell of a highlight, though. It is really, really beautiful. I do see what my friend was saying about it having a lot of, um, like glitter in it and she also said it looks cheap I like it it's a lot though I, I, it's a, it is but it's beautiful I think it's really really pretty I don't care what y'all gotta say I like it oh shit put too much right there it's okay here's my cover it and I'm going to put that on my lid Woo. 
okay. Eh, okay. Wow. Wowzer. That is awesome. So yeah, I will definitely use this as an eyeshadow. Look at that. That is strong, baby. It's such an eyeshadow. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's different. I definitely don't have a highlighter like this in my collection. That's a lot. <laughs> I mean, you really gotta, I mean, this is gonna last you forever, okay? This is going to last you, like, forever. All jokes aside. Because, I mean, a, a little goes a long way. All right, because I, girl. <laughs> and then while it's wet, I'm gonna go in again. Baby. Yo, dead ass, dead ass. That was Rihanna that said that, right? Oh my God, Jesus. All right, let me go put on my lashes, y'all. And oh, man, that's okay. Let me put on my lashes and I'm gonna give you guys my final review. I cannot wait to tell you guys what I think and what I'm keeping. Cause y'all know, mm, I think I'm keeping. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna talk to you guys in two seconds. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with the final results of my makeup using the Venzi Beauty. What's up, Brianna? All right. All right. So what time is it right now? It is 10, 11 right now. I started my makeup around um, one something, like one, one something I finished my makeup. Um, so I had the makeup on for a few hours and let's zoom in and then i'm gonna be like all up in your face talking all up in your face come on let's get close in person my opinion i feel like the highlighter guys looks like glitter it literally looks like glitter like loose glitter um it is beautiful it's a beautiful highlight it's very yellow like it's very very yellow i even have it on my eyelids as just an eyeshadow but if you look at my forehead, it has a lot of texture. Like um, the glitter is just sitting right, right up in between my pores. I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but it's just glitter. Like this highlight is just a lot of glitter. It's not smooth, which is something that I'm not a fan of because if you're someone who has a lot of texture in their skin, this is the highlight. It looks really, really beautiful. However, it just has a lot of texture in it. And it's literally sitting in my pores, which I personally don't think I have bad pores, but it is sitting in my pores, guys. If you look at it on my eyelids, you'll see how much glitter is in here. I mean, it, it would make a beautiful, a beautiful eyeshadow, but I'm not sure if it's like the best highlighter especially because it's so um yellow okay someone told me that all they see on my face is all they see on my face is yellow and i was like okay um if you're looking at my skin you see that my nose area definitely separated it definitely separated if you can see that this is what the skin looks like guys This is what my mouth area looks like. So overall, if you are a huge Rihanna fan, you should absolutely support her line. Um, yeah, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely keep some of the products that I bought. Well, for sure, because I wanna still have, I just wanna have the products from Rihanna's makeup line. I think it's really cool and I wanna have that in my makeup collection. If you like a full coverage foundation, this is not for you. If you have dry skin, this is not for you. If you're someone like me who likes minimal coverage um, and you don't have dry skin, if you have oily skin or combination skin, this foundation is great for you. And that's about it. I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. 
I know this is like the 10,000 review you saw, but this one is different. And yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial, my next video, my next review, whatever I decide to do. And uh, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Leave me your comments down below if you have tried this line that I love. It's just I didn't have to go out and run, run out and get it as fast as I did. And um, yeah. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Make sure you turn on your notifications. Bye.